Hi, I'm Bryce, and I've been meditating for the last seven years or so. I've decided to take my meditation practice to the next level. Every week, I'm going to be practicing a different technique or form of meditation, and only that form or technique of meditation to expand my horizons. It's going to be fun. We're both going to learn some things along the way. I didn't even know how many kinds of different meditations there were. There's a lot more than a couple, believe it or not. For this week's meditation, I'm going to practice using binaural, 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 right? Binaural beats. And for these meditations, I'm going to need some headphones and either an iPod or a computer, which is a little bit different for me because I normally try to avoid technology while I'm meditating. It was a little weird meditating with headphones. I've done it a few times before here and there, maybe listening to some like uh, shamanic drumming music or flute music of some sort, I don't know. But it's always, it's always been weird meditating with headphones because I know when I meditate there's this might sound crazy to some people but I can feel there's like air and oxygen it's like coming out through my ears and it feels like there's like block a blockage you know when I'm using headphones to meditate and stuff so that's a little um, funky if you haven't heard of binaural beats don't worry that's okay. I personally just learned about them maybe a couple years ago, and my experience with them is very limited. I think I practiced with them once, twice, but I don't really remember anything about it. So. Binaural beats are a tricky thing, I think, because I wonder how much of it is actually something psychosomatic, because sometimes, depending on where you look on the internet, uh, YouTube, wherever, you might see uh, you know, some uh, searches as you're typing in binaural beats or on different websites that say, you know, things like, this will get you high, man, or, you know, alter your consciousness, and whatever other uh, boisterous claims they make. So when things are being promoted like that, I am often quite skeptical, and then I start wondering how much of it has been influenced by you know, sub maybe even subliminally by things like that, as opposed to what I'm actually feeling. But then, uh, again, it goes back and forth with myself, what am I actually feeling versus what is suggested, you know? These are things I gotta figure out. I asked a few of my friends on Facebook if they had heard of or practiced their meditations using binaural beats, and it turns out a few of them have. I typed up some notes, that I was going to that I'm going to read to you because I didn't want to mess up or misconstrue any of uh, what these binaural beats are or are supposed to do. Now keep in mind these are the Cliff's notes, and if you want to do your own research on these things, go for it. At their core, binaural beats are two different tones one listens to, preferably with headphones that create a resonance in the brain, which is called the frequency following response. Now, supposedly, listening to these two different tones affect the brain waves, and the brain begins to pulse and sync up with these beats, which, in turn, supposedly induces various states of consciousness. This kind of reminds me a little bit about uh, hearkening back to high school. I played the saxophone, and I remember the saxophone section would have to tune up with the uh, leader of the section, uh, each of us having to tune a certain note until we were all sounded the same. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. I'm going to go back to the notes for a second. Uh, these different tones correspond with different brain waves, which are associated with different states of consciousness. Uh, there are six different types of brain waves, but for the purposes of this week's meditation experiment, we're going to be focusing on two the beta waves and the delta waves. Try not to go into things with expectations, but when you're doing research 
explore stuff like this and you know you're reading things like these waves are associated with this and those waves are associated with that you know you can't help but sort of have some of that maybe imprint on you a little bit for the first three days i'm going to be meditating using delta waves which are found in stages three and four of sleep very very deep sleep ah. Whoa, what up, dudes? Just finished riding the Delta waves for three days, man. Whoa! Then, for the next three days, I'm going to be meditating using Beta waves, which are associated with normal waking consciousness, a little bit more active. Third and final day with uh, Beta waves. I sort of figure if I meditate using the Delta waves, which are the lowest waves on the scale, and then the Beta waves, which are the second highest waves on the scale, and then I can really see the difference between, uh, you know, the two. The meditating with the delta waves for three days, um, they really do something. I don't want to say they made me feel more relaxed. I mean, they did, but I feel like that's too tame of a word. I noticed when I was meditating with delta waves, my breath would slow down much more quickly than when I was doing my regular everyday meditation. First day I meditated with the Delta Waves, I almost did fall asleep twice. But I didn't feel much with Beta Waves. But then again, I'm also thinking maybe that's because Beta Waves are the normal waves that we experience as, you know, in like waking consciousness, maybe. I don't know. After my meditation was finished, uh, there was definitely a certain amount of tiredness I felt uh, coming out of it. Like, it, al it almost did feel like I'd taken a quick nap or something, but I was conscious. And man, was I conscious during these times of delta wave activity. Before, or sometimes even during meditation, parts of my body might be a little tense. And I noticed after meditating with the delta waves for three days, uh, whatever tenseness was in my body after each meditation uh, was almost completely gone. Maybe a little bit, but not nearly as what it would be. So that's something. Definitely more relaxed with the Delta. Definitely Delta. Now maybe if I tried listening to the beta waves right when I woke up, or if I've been like really tired, maybe that would do something. I don't know. I didn't do that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, it, it just wasn't... It's not to say there wasn't like any sort of meditating, but it, there wasn't... A, large difference between now as I'm talking to you and when I was meditating with the beta waves as opposed to when I was doing it with the delta waves I could definitely feel like a difference and it's not to say that you should be looking to feel different you should be going into any meditation with expectations of what you want to happen or anything like that you can if you want to. Well, it's it's all very fluid and up to you. Bryce, what about the seventh? Well, I'm glad you asked, voice in my head. Maybe it was my beard. I don't know. It's hard to tell what's in here sometimes. That's a little weird. Too much information. I'm sorry. For the seventh day, I'm going to be meditating using binaural beats suggested to me by a friend on Facebook, Jessica Starship. Thank you very much. These binaural beats also included sounds of running water, uh, some like flute music, and maybe a little bit of uh, synth uh, stuff going on in the background as well to really create this uh, ambience. I don't remember the, the whole title of it. I'm putting a link to it here somewhere on the video. Anyway, I don't know where. For sure, I'm up there. And by the end of that hour, my whole body was just vibrating, glowing, wobbling. Wow. Wow. There's a rabbit staring at me right now. I, I want to show you, but I'm afraid I'll scare you. After I was into it, man, I was in there. I was 
synced in, listening to all of these tones and sounds that were happening, it really created a super comfortable atmosphere. In this meditation also, there was a lot of um, letting go of things, which may be because I've been meditating for two weeks straight now, but there's definitely just a, a lot of shedding in this meditation today. And, or, it, or it could also be because there wasn't much happening in the last three days of meditation with the beta waves. I don't, I don't know. But there aren't a lot of words that can describe how, what this felt like. Uh, so again, I encourage everyone to check out that video, listen to uh, those sounds specifically with headphones. So thank you, Jessica Starsha. I really think there's some validity to using these. Might not jive with some people, might jive with others. Maybe some of the waves will jive with you that don't jive with me, but maybe that works, that, that'll work with some other people. I don't know. I'm st I'm st learning about all of this and just experimenting, you know? Thank you for watching. May your day be as it is. That's the dude who was staring at me. That little guy right there.